Do you know the sun could destroy the Earth in 2025? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Let's take a step back in time to the year 1859 to an incident known as the Carrington Event. A colossal solar storm unlike any other, it unleashed a torrent of solar plasma upon us, causing chaos worldwide. Bright auroras painted the skies, telegraph systems stumbled and faltered, and even gold miners were led astray, mistaking dawn for sunrise. These events, as unsettling as they may be, are not as rare as you might think. As we inch closer to the solar maximum of 2025, the threat of another Carrington-level event looms ever larger. The potential fallout, a devastated world electrical grid, trillions of dollars in damages, prolonged blackouts, and catastrophic losses for space activities, from satellites to human lives. And let's not forget, the Carrington event pales in comparison to older solar storms evidenced by tree ring data. But what if we told you we are about to enter the most dangerous period for solar activity of the entire decade? The impending danger of a solar storm is real, and we need to prepare. Scientists aboard the SOHO spacecraft keep a vigilant watch on the sun, looking for signs of mass ejections that could spell danger for our planet. If a warning is issued, it's a race against time. Governments worldwide must act swiftly and decisively, shutting down power grids, disconnecting electronics and putting satellites into safety mode. Services that we often take for granted, like hospitals and emergency services, could face catastrophic consequences without power. With the odds of a Carrington-level event in the next 10 years estimated to be 12% and us entering the solar maximum, the most dangerous period for solar activity, the stakes have never been higher. Solar storms strike silently in the darkness, posing a threat to our globe. It isn't a question of if a solar storm will hit us, but when. And when it does, we need to be prepared. But are we?